Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll be going over how to simulate the fan wing in 2D in open foam. This entails the use of uh, a moving mesh. Uh, since the fan wing has a moving rotor within a stator, uh, we'll be using the AMI, or arbitrary mesh interface, to allow for the uh, motion of one mesh and, uh, tra and transmitting the flow variables to the, the stationary part. Uh, so, let's see, for the case files for this tutorial are here, uh, which you can find on the GitHub in the link in the description. Um, we have uh, the case files, uh, the mesh files in Gmesh, uh, post-process results, pressure for pressure and velocity. Um, let's, we'll first take a look at the, the mesh. So this is the full domain. This side is the inlet. The, the top and bottom are the wind tunnel walls, and this is the outlet. So flow, there's a free stream going in uh, from left to right. And this is the main part of the domain. Uh, so we have the rotor region here, which will be spinning and moving with respect to the stator region out here. So this is the casing. This part is a wall. And this, these, each of these are blades, which are modeled as walls, and the shaft as a wall as well. And this thin outer line out here is the uh, AMI interface. So this region will be rotating while the flow is coming in and coming out and transmitted through the interface. Um, so I've, as you can see, I've meshed these two regions independently, so you can see this rotor region, you know, it does not match up perfectly with the stator region here. You can see these lines do not meet at the same place because they're separate, uh, they're totally separate regions. So we can take a look at the script here, and we'll see that I've defined uh, in Gmesh, I've defined all of these uh, surfaces, uh, and then the rotor volumes and stator volumes. You'll need the rotor volume uh, as a handle for uh, the dynamic mesh dict, which uh, is a case file that allows you to specify how fast the region is rotating and other properties. So, um, so let's go ahead and convert and run the case. So as usual the commands are listed in the readme. So let's create the mesh. Okay, so we see we have about 60,000 cells for this 2D case. Um, now convert the mesh. Okay, now modify the boundary file. All right, so here I've included the necessary AMI additional features. So AMI 00 is one side of the patch and the other side is AMI01 so we define the neighbor patch to be that other corresponding side. Um, this is a wall. Casing is the wall. Tunnel is also a wall. Inlet outlet patch, uh, single blade, wall, blades. So I've uh, actually separated one blade from the other all the other blades so you can in post-processing, you can get the view of the behavior of a single blade. Um, and uh, the shaft is a wall, of course, and this is empty, since this is a 2D case. So let's copy the AMI entry. And, of course, change the neighbor appropriately. And now we should be ready to run the case. Um, we will be using Pimple Dim Foam Solver.
all right, pimpled info. And as you can see, it's running uh, fine here. Um, so uh, since, uh, as you can probably tell, the, the solution is highly transient because you have blades passing uh, distinct regions. Um, so uh, this is obviously must be a tran uh, transient simulation and the current number has a big effect on your results. Uh, so let's take a look at the velocity. As you can tell, so first we see that the um, rotor is spinning in this direction and the flow is coming in being energized by the rotor and then there's a redir redirection and a flux jet here. Um, this, uh, this device allows the creation of both uh, propulsion and uh, lift um, and, and behaves as a wing as well by deflecting the flow, the free, oncoming free stream flow. Uh, let's take a look at the file that defines the mesh motion and that would be the uh, dynamic mesh dict under the constant folder. So here, here uh, this allows for the uh, rotation of the mesh region. Um, you can just pretty much get this from any tutorial case uh, in the pimpled info directory. Um, so here we see that we reference the cell zone that we've defined in the um, uh, Gmesh script and some, pr some parameters to define the speed, the axis of rotation, and the rotation speed in radians per second. So it's pretty simple. Um, let's go back to our solution. Uh, let's let's view the pressure. We can see that uh, this device creates a very low pressure region here, and this pressure differential um, causes the lift and thrust, the total lift and thrust, which most of it is through the casing. There is some from the rotor as well, um, but most of it is from the casing. Um, so yeah, the, the, there is actually a vortex here that forms, um, uh, and as you may know, vortices are low, low pressure structures, uh, or, or structures with low pressure at the center. So yeah, this is a pretty interesting uh, and novel device. It was invented in the 90s by a man of, uh, named uh, Patrick Peebles. <clears throat> you can visit his website. Uh, they're still actively developing this technology, so um, there are regularly uh, some updates, and um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure I'm sure this device will have its niche use. Um, it it doesn't totally it won't I don't think it'll take over the helicopter or conventional airplane, but for certain conditions, it can be um, better than than traditional technologies. Well, so that's how you simulate uh, the fan wing in open foam using a moving mesh. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and uh, happy foaming.